everything our area has to offer year-round. Yeah, absolutely. In a new series here on ABC Action News with Tampa Bay Times outdoor man Terry Tomlin, we're bringing you some of the places into your living room that you should go. It's the everyday adventure, and Terry is cooking up some critters at like Fort DeSoto Park. To do, around the old cement pond. Hi, I'm Terry Tomlin. We're out here at Fort DeSoto County Park, and we're going to do a little cooking over an open campfire. Now, a lot of people think that when you cook in the woods, you need to bring cans and boxes and stuff like that. Not the case. We're going to cook over an open campfire in this cast iron pan with all fresh ingredients and make a first class, grade A gourmet meal. It's starting to get a little dark, so we're going to rush things because we're all hungry and we want to eat. I got with me Tom Pritchard, the executive chef of Salt Rock Grill, and my buddy Dean Paquel, master angler, who provided much of the game we're going to eat tonight. We have an assortment of fresh ingredients. We have some lemons and limes, some fresh tomatoes, fresh broccoli, some dill and thyme, assorted peppers, some Spanish onions. We have some gator, mullet roe, mullet backs, venison, some wild turkey, some fresh caught grouper, and some more mullet that we're going to put on the grill over the open fire. Now, Tom, tell me why the cast iron pan is such a great tool for outdoor cooking. Well, it's, it's uh, completely forgiving. As the fire moves, it changes height and elevation, changes to go sideways. It's, uh, it has a good even distribution of heat, so you can, you can move it around and, and it cooks perfectly. So even a lousy cook like me can make something taste good in a cast iron you pan? You sure can. start off with some aromatics, a little fresh onion and some garlic. Put a little gator in here. Now this gator, a friend of mine got this and put it aside for me. It's the select cuts. He saved the best for us. Cut up real thin, small, cook it real. Keep moving it around so it doesn't get tough. Mmm, that's gonna be good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Got some mullet row and some mullet backs cooking up next. It's gonna be a seven course feast. Got some fresh mullet here and some mullet row cooking in a cast iron pan over an open fire. This is a cracker feast. It doesn't get any better than that. You guys hungry? Until next time, I'm Terry Tomlin with your everyday adventure at Fort DeSoto County Park. Okay, so you've probably seen the commercials for the exercise routines like P90X and Insanity and the sculpted bodies that come with them. Bill, I don't want to brag.